Well, June Kaneko is a Japanese artist who's been living in the United States since the early 1960s. And he actually came here to study painting and then very quickly became interested in ceramics just really by coincidence. And so he, he still thinks of, of himself sort of as a painter and a ceramicist, and he thinks of those as three-dimensional paintings. Um, so he's very interested in having surfaces that he can work on in a painterly way. In, in the ceramics world, he's really the top figure now, or one of the very top figures, and he's very widely known um, as someone who pushes the limits of ceramics mm -hmm. um, in terms of the level of ambition um, and the technical uh, possibilities. He really pushes the limits of very ambitious sculptural ceramics. The, the reason I chose it to be the first exhibition in the sculpture garden, um, I had several things in mind. I wanted to present something that was visually very powerful and attention-getting and that really said to everybody that we're going to be doing um, interesting and ambitious things in the garden. So as an inaugural show, um, it seemed perfect to me. And also, um, because the pieces are bold um, and you know have that wonderful painterly and design quality to the surface um, and the simple shapes, I felt like they would be very accessible. Um, and I wanted something that was open and accessible to the general public. Um, but also they have so many layers of thought um, and different kinds of connections um, in terms of uh, the history of ceramics and um, Japanese art making and design, um, industrial manufacture. They're made in these 19th century industrial kilns in um, the Midwest. Um, so they have all kinds of different layers um, that I thought would be interesting too to unpack in various ways. So to me, that's, you know, they were the perfect kind of work that are both accessible and in